Good morning everybody out there in YouTube land. As you can see and probably hear, we got a little bit of chop going on out here. I think Chris is going to show you in the video. Guys, on the bay boat that we had, we would have had to turn around, okay? But it was time to step it up a little bit, uh, you know, get our guys with wheelchairs out here. Uh, and we like to fish a lot, guys, and putting in uh, 200 days a year, 250 days a year on the water on a 20-footer uh, offshore is kind of hard on you. This Sportsman 312 Open is ridiculous. Uh, we averaged in this slop, we averaged about 36 mile an hour. And uh, when we were passing a couple of the uh, diesel boats, they actually, uh, we actually got it up to 46 in this, guys. Um, this thing absolutely screams. When you back it down, it's comfortable going fast. When you back it down, it just eats through. It's got enough, I think they call it flare. I'm a fisherman, not a boat builder. Um, it's got enough flare, it just cuts right through it. Can't say enough great things about sportsmen, guys. Uh, Chris, come around here if you can real quick. Let, let's show you something we're working with. Guys, I, I'm still learning all this, so forgive the mess right now. We don't even have all of our tackle on here. We got a kingfish tournament tomorrow, because that's what normal people do. You get a boat that you never captained before, way bigger, no numbers, and you enter a tournament. So that's how not lucky rolls, baby. But guys, this thing has got a cutting board, it's got a sink, got all this storage under there i mean organizing drawers we, we got lead you know we got two sizes of lead there i mean i, I can go on tackle trays more drawers uh guys there's fish boxes everywhere we're going to do a walkthrough for you um i'm being long-winded because i'm excited this sportsman 312 open is the offshore fishing machine now from Tybee coast guys you need to get yourself out here and get yourself some Kingfish. So I figure if I can do it in this, I could probably do it when it's flat calm. So I'm going to lock him down, check our drag. I'm going to give it a scooch more. Guys, we're using this Shimano Torium 30 watt. Guys, there's a ton of line on these things. I think it'll hold around a thousand yards of break. I want a little bit more. Guys, you want about seven pounds or so. That right there is perfect. That way when that fish goes and hits it, it's not so tight he's gonna pull the hook out. Those kingfish, a lot of times they'll come up to that cricket and then they'll go to hit it and they'll barely miss it and they'll barely get them in the side of their face. They won't get the hook in their mouth. You have too much drag, you gonna pull the hook right out of his mouth. Look at this, got a little handy dandy pole holder. Uh, I guess, I guess uh, we'll go down with this. I, I don't even know, this sportsman has so much storage. I, I don't even know where to put stuff because there's always too many options. Alright guys, 
We got the line cleared. We got this dude. Chris was gonna help me. I wanted to see if I could do it by myself. Let's turn this clicker off. There we go. Guys, he's still pulling drag. We're gonna give him just a tad. There we go, give him a little bit more. There we go, baby. Guys, we, we got about, I, I think a thousand yards of brake fits. We, we got about a total of about six, 700 yards of line on here counting mono. Not overly stressed out about him spooling us. And we're back in the USSR. Going out lucky you are, boy. We got some Beatles playing. We got my brother Chris out here. Life is good. Guys, if you look at this fence, 40G right here, not even biting down on itself, guys. Not even biting down. It's great line. One of my favorite things about it, it's not like other lines where you've got to re-spool it all the time. It, it lasts forever. Look at that, baby. Look at that. The, the player Wiggins Rod by Luz matches the Sportsman Open 312. Oh, 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 we just lost a hook, it felt like. One. All right, that's why we got two of them here. Guys, if you notice, I am not putting too much pressure on this fish. The reason we're doing that is because what we talked about before. These, these guys sometimes they will get a hook in the bottom of their their face and the side of their face, all in here. Pretty much every place you don't want to hook a fish is where a lot of kingfish get hooked. Oh, well, almost off the start right hand. We're gonna have to get serious here and put it on backwards for aerodynamics. Back to my hillbilly racing roots. Look at that rod. how this blood is not sticking look at that not seeping in the reason that is guys is yesterday evening and I'm gonna make a demo video on how to do it you put on the Starbright non-skin deck wax guys this stuff's absolutely phenomenal what we're gonna do is just get some water after we get this fish cleared away throw it on the blood's gone make sure make keep your boat beautiful you don't have to use harsh chemicals and when the best part of all Excuse me, the best part of all is it saves you time at the end of the day. Starbright is the best uh, boat cleaning place in the world, baby. Woo! Come on! I'm going to show you what we're using here real quick. Hopefully I don't mess up my cricket. We got a uh, Blair's 6.6 jigging rod by Lou's, guys. The M2 jigging rod, all right? It's from Blair designed this from Addicted Fishing with Lou's. Guys, this rod's absolutely incredible. The lure weight is actually eight plus ounces. Makes a great trolling rod. We got we got some 65 pound fins on there because well, you can pack so much on these Shimano reels, it doesn't really matter uh, what, what size. So always go a little bit heavier. Then we got a top shot of some mono. Um, I think I got 30 pound on there. Um, that's just to give it just a tiny bit of stretch for those kingfish. And then we got our stinger rig. Uh, which is 40, uh, 44 pound, I think, wire leader uh, with some uh, treble hooks on there, guys. So we're going to keep trolling around, see what we come up with. Um, guys, get online, go to Lou's website, check out these jigging rods. They also make a 5.6 that I'm going to show you guys uh, more of next week. Um, and we're going to try to get some big amberjack on that thing and uh, see if we can get that thing bent over. Right now, I'm trying to find these kingfish and I can't find them. There we go! Woo! 
We still have this fish on. What do we got? What do we got? We got mono. He's trying to go under the boat. Woo! Guys, see what I did there? Gregor from Starbreak calls it getting T-Rex arms. You don't want to get all bunched up and drop that rod tip. When he swims under the boat, extend and get low, baby. There's a king. That's a good size one for you, Chris. Strike, and all we gotta do is get on top of them. Boom! They're eating it hard. That's what we need to 